Nestled on the bank of the Ohio River, the shipping port cracker plant looms over the greater Pittsburgh area, raising questions about its impact on both the environment and the economy. The cracker plant is a petrochemical factory that cracks ethane into smaller molecules in order to produce ethylene pellets. The pellets are then used to make plastics used in everything from medicine bottles to automobile parts. The plant is expected to produce around 1.6 million tons of ethylene a year. There are some potential benefits to the cracker plant's entrance into Pittsburgh regarding the economy. The shipping port cracker plant is estimated to produce around 1,500 jobs for steam fitters with an average salary of $100,000 a year. The plant will also add another 600 permanent jobs to the area. Despite these pros, many critics say the Shell Cracker Plant will set back Pittsburgh's efforts to clean up its air. Pittsburgh is already among the top 10 polluted cities and in the top 2% nationally for cancer risk from polluted air. Both locals and state leaders say the Shell Cracker Plant will be important in reviving the city's manufacturing legacy from its glory days in the 19th and 20th century. Many people view the Shell Cracker Plant as an important part of reviving the manufacturing legacy of Pittsburgh and believe that it could compare to the city's steel manufacturing past. The cracker plant will release harmful pollutants and gases into the environment that affect the environment as well as the workers and citizens near the plant. These pollutants include benzene, toluene, and formaldehyde, all of which can cause cancer, organ issues, and birth defects. Volatile organic compounds are another harmful pollutant released by petrochemical plants. They can lead to asthma and cardiovascular problems. In addition, the cracker plant will emit over 2.25 million tons of carbon dioxide per year, the equivalent of over 433,000 cars being driven over the span of one year. The shell plant has the potential to emit over 30 tons of hazardous air pollutants. The plant's close proximity to many neighborhoods is also a cause for concern. Shell's efforts to keep emissions in check include fence line monitoring, which will measure the amount of pollution emitted by the plant to make sure it stays at the allowed level. The plant also has flares that burn off dangerous emissions, and the flares must destroy 98% or more of the pollutants the plant emits. But, some environmentalists say the flares don't do much to reduce dangerous emissions, as they make clouds full of fine particulate matter that, when breathed in, are small enough to settle into the alveoli of the lungs, increasing a person's risk of cancer. To keep the environment clean and safe, citizens should support clean air initiatives which push governments to commit to regulating emissions from factories like the cracker plant. They also raise awareness of air pollution and convey for cleaner air. Clean air initiatives related to Western Pennsylvania include Southwest Pennsylvania Neighbors for Clean Air, a part of the Clean Air Council, and the Breathe Project. These groups write to legislators, pushing for tighter restrictions on emission from petroleum plants. By becoming a member or raising awareness of these groups, the groups can gain more influence to make change. Another way to help offset the negative impacts on the environment by the cracker plant is to reduce reusable plastic use. Plastic litter clutters oceans and landfills, negatively impacting wildlife and the environment. In reality, the cons related to the production of reusable plastic and the management of its disposal outweigh its benefits. Use reusable replacements for single-use plastics. When using single-use plastics can't be avoided, make sure to recycle it. Supporting clean air initiatives will ensure emissions restrictions are enforced on petrochemical plants. Small changes like using reusable grocery bags and using reusable straws and food containers can make a big difference in reducing plastic demand if everyone starts making these changes. Reducing the demand for plastic is a simple way for people to push back against Shell and other large oil companies.